elements in this world exist as isotopes. Atoms of an element are not always the same. We know that if they are of the same element, they will have the same number of protons, but they are allowed to have a different number of neutrons, and hence a different number of nucleons. And, to show and these elements with the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons are known as isotopes of each other. In the elements in the world naturally exist as isotopes. And these isotopes have different abundances. This is basically a percentage value of how each of the atoms exist in the world. And each of the isotopes will have a different relative atomic mass. For example, the topmost isotope has a relative atomic mass of 24, and 25, and 26 as you go down. And they will have different number of abundances. For example, magnesium 24 has a relative abundance of 80%, magnesium 25 as 10%, magnesium 26 as 10%. They all add up to 100%. Okay? And we know that since these isotopes have a different relative atomic mass, we can use it to calculate one specific average relative atomic mass for us to put on the periodic table and to use for calculations. Let's reiterate, this value will be put on the periodic table and used as like a standard value for that element when we're doing calculations. And I'm going to show you how we're going to calculate the relative atomic mass of an element that is average. And you do this formula, that is the sum of the multiplications of the abundance values and the relative atomic mass of each isotope. So for example, in this situation, we take the abundance value of magnesium 24 as 80% multiplied by 24, add that of the 25 magnesium and the 26 magnesium, that is 10% times by 25, add 10% times by 26. And this gives us a average relative atomic mass of magnesium of 24.3, which you can see on the periodic table. So thank you very much for watching my video. I'll see you again in the next video on electron configurations.